Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. So, one of the very first videos I ever did on this channel was a video on how to backup your PC to your Synology NAS using Active Backup for Business. This video became very popular and I've gotten a lot of requests, comments, requests for future videos, which I did. So I encourage you everyone to browse through the videos on this channel and find them. But this video was uploaded to YouTube almost a year ago. And since then a lot has happened. For example, DSM-7 was released. So I decided to do a revised, updated version of how to backup your PC to your Synology device using Active Backup for Business on DSM-7. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and start working. Join me. All right, guys, so we are at the computer and the first thing that we need in order to back up our device to our Synology device is a PC and a Synology a device, obviously. And the first thing that we need to do is log, log on into our Synology device. And as a recommendation, I recommend creating a user account, which I'll show you in a second and not use the default admin account that you, are, uh, 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 that you are maybe using. Other than administrating the system, don't use it at all anywhere. So let's jump right over to the package center. Let's locate Active Backup for Business and click on Install and head right over to the control panel and create a dedicated user account to use with our Active Backup for Business. Click on Create. Just name it, I, I know, I name it, I'm naming it backup just for the lack of a better idea. Give it a password. The more complex, the better. Let's click on next. Don't add it to the administrators group. It's not needed. It's a member of the users group and that's all it needs. Click on next. Give it read and write permissions to the shared folder that you are using in Active Backup for Business. I'm using the default Active Backup for Business created shared folder. That's great. Click on next, next all the way through and click on done. Now we have our user account that we will be using throughout this video. As you can see, Active Backup for Business has already been installed and we can see two new shortcuts on our Synology desktop. By the way, this Windows virtual machine, this win Windows machine is a virtual machine and this uh, Synology NAS is also a virtual DSM, but it doesn't matter, it will behave exactly the same on physical devices as well. Let's launch Active Backup for Business. And for the first time, we will need to activate our instance. All you need is your uh, Synology account, email and password. That's it. The activation is a one-time thing and as you can see it's very fast. The application has been uh, activated. So the first thing after activation, the first thing that I recommend that you do is head over to the settings tab right here and to the templates tab right here and create a new template that will be used that will hold the settings that we want and will be used every time that we associate a computer with our active backup for business. Let's give it a descriptive name that will tell us, for example, weekly, Sunday, 3 a.m. And just by looking at the name, it will tell us when it's supposed to launch or what is the uh, uh, schedule. So let's assign it to the users group. And this will uh, uh, be used every time we use our created user account. Keep it on Windows, keep it on PC, that's great. Let's click on Next. I do want to backup my entire device, my entire device but I do not want to backup external, har external hard drives if they are connected. Let's click on Next. Let's select a, a, a shared folder. For, exam for these demonstration purposes, I'm using a, 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 a shared folder that I created. Click on Next. Click on Next right here. I don't want to use a manual backup. I want it to be scheduled. I want it to be on Sundays on 3 a.m. That's great. And other than that, I'm just clicking next. I do want to enable some sort of a retention policy, but 
five versions is enough, is enough for me. Let's click on next. And then we get some sort of a summary. And now we have a template ready to be used with our PCs when they're connected to Active Backup for Business. The next thing that we need to do is to associate or install an agent on our uh, Windows device. We'll do that by going to PC and click on Add Device. And I'm using a 64-bit operating system, so I'll click on the 64-bit link. And this will download the, the appropriate agent for my PC. I, will, I can now close out of here and minimize my browser window. I will go to my Downloads folder and install the Active Backup for Business agent. The installation is very simple, just accept the license terms and next all the way through. And launch the application, that's great. Now, for the initial uh, configuration, we will need to supply the IP address of the Synology device that we are using. We'll need to supply the user account that we have pre-prepared for this purpose. That's all you need in order to associate the computer with Active Backup for Business. Click on Connect. Proceed anyway, because we are not using certificates for this demonstration. We are getting some sort of a summary. As you can see, it already applied the template that we have prepared for it. So we know the schedule, we know the retention. That's great. Click on OK. And now the computer has been associated to Active Backup for Business. In fact, if we go back to our Synology device, we now see our device right here. And we can see the backup user and the template of weekly Sunday 3 a.m. And we also have a task that was created by, uh, by the agent. And as you can see, we have the option not to wait for the initial backup uh, to happen uh, on Sunday uh, 3 a.m. We can launch manually a backup uh, and wait for it. Of course, we'll have to wait for it uh, to complete. The initial backup always takes uh, the longest because Active Backup for Business backs up everything, including the operating system, applications, drivers, everything. This is what enables it uh, to be used with uh, bare metal restores that we have uh, already covered in previous videos. All right, so the initial backup is complete. For me, it took about five minutes. For you, it may take longer, again, according to the amount of data that you are backing up. But now that the uh, backup is complete, we can now minimize our window right here. And as, as you can see, we have some sort of a, a, a fake a critical a documents that I've created, for example, a contract, which is super critical, an illustration of a picture of a cat. This will represent critical data that we want to back up and will actually create a data loss. I'm selecting all files and creating and clicking on Shift Delete. They are not even in the uh, recycle bin. So now that we have our uh, Active Backup agent installed, the backup is complete. Our data has been accidentally deleted. There is a, a very fast and a very easy way to restore our files just by clicking on this Active Backup for Business uh, shortcut right here. Click on Restore Portal. This will take us to the Restore Portal and uh, you will might be asked uh, to, uh, uh, to give a username and password. Just use the username that we have created uh, for the Active Backup for Business purposes. And we only have one instance of a backup because we only created one backup. But if we have further backups and let's say uh, the schedules have already been run uh, for several months, you will see your backups on the timeline and in the uh, tab right here. But we want to restore our files, so we'll go into Disk Zero Volume 1. As you can see, our entire uh, system drive has been uh, backed up. Let's right click. I can, all, I can restore the entire folder and I can even browse into it and restore individual files. Just select them and click on Restore. Click on OK. It will take no more than a few seconds. But after, after it's done, if we go back to our folder, we will see our uh, files have been restored with the data in them. And this is how easy it is to backup and restore files 
from your uh, Windows device to your Synology device using Active Backup for Business. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to join our Facebook community. Just go into Facebook and search for a user group, Synology user group worldwide. We have a lot of guys. If you have any questions, the guys will be happy to help you with any question on any Synology topic. And of course, you might be able to help other guys. I will, of course, include the link in the description below. So thank you guys for watching and join us in the next video. Bye bye, everyone.